And I'm Stefan. And we, and we are... are... We always had a dream to travel Australia. So we packed up our lives and began our adventure in our renovated caravan called Rocket. Be sure to tune in every week to see where our adventures take us next. This is the one that broke and I fixed it with heat shrink and the last roads we did just broke it. We're just getting um, getting ready for the for the thing tomorrow so we're gonna make some gin up for the kayak ride but yeah found out this is broken and Nate's like do you reckon we can glue it then drops this piece and smashes it into like four different pieces and I just sort of piece it back together to see which pieces of glass were missing. Ah oh, nay, silly goose. Probably gonna have to stick to plastic bottles. <laughs> yes, you. So I mixed a bit of this, a bit of the gin. How's it taste? Mm. It's pretty good. That's not I mixed really good. that gin, that one there, mixed with the uh, Beef Eaters or Blood Orange, the rest of our peach schnapps. What the hell this is? Claw, I think, and a little bit of lemonade. And obviously the Mountain Dew um, Major Melon. And it's really good. This is going to be good for tomorrow. Keen. It's going to be a good kayak ride. I'm going to get messed up in the sun. I've been seeing this every time I go past and I want to give it a crack. Nailed it. It's a pretty good little jump. I might slow mo it. Man of a fridge door and a I don't know toolbox and a thingy. I'll slow it. Look cool. What's that? Oh, it's like a motorcycle. Yeah, well, yeah. But she's got a fucking little a little donk on her. Yeah, it's a good one. I'll leave it. Leave it. I don't know about before. Yeah. Works a pretty uh yeah. pretty balanced. Oh, I was just gonna say. Did that. you make it? I'm in Sandy. Yeah, I'll preload. Yeah, yeah. preload. Fucked it. That was probably not quite as strong. That's all right. Dang it. How we do it again? It's like it's on. So you can see there's resistance in the wheel, but it's not turning off, and it thinks it's off, but it's not turning on. So it's like in this weird limbo state. So I'm gonna disconnect the batteries and hopefully that fixes it. I'm gonna try and charge it. it. Sparks and doesn't want to take charge. So I'll see what's going on. So I put a message out on like the, uh, the unicycle group saying uh yeah i wonder if i can um use my old motherboards and like desolder some of the working parts and connect them onto the the non-working parts to decide to make one working unicycle uh working motherboard so um and one of the guys said that the reason my motherboard could have blown was because my motor like if there's something wrong with the motor like it's uh the phases are like connected in one way or something and i push it then the motherboard could blow. So I figured the best way to test it is use my U-Box because I've got a spare U-Box or one that I can use for, for stuff. It's 100 volt, 100 amps. And um, yeah, the, I can't, I don't know if I'll be able to completely connect it to this um, for stability wise, like to ride like a unicycle. I might be able to. I need to lengthen my whole, whole sensor. But um, yeah, hooked up a remote. Oh. Should be going faster than that, but yeah, it totally works. Only thing is, because there's no hall sensor, if I stop it, I'll let it stop naturally. Its slow speed is pretty much non existent, like. that hell it kind of like whoop, 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 like it doesn't always get to him because it doesn't know what position it's in but yeah it's um it's working and my motor's alright which is awesome which is awesome it's only running on my uh, my little 36 volt battery that I made that we're taking camping 
So, um, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Probably shouldn't drain it too much. But, yeah, how awesome is that? Totally works. Woo! <laughs> yeah, I'm glad. That means I don't have to buy a new motor. Hopefully the motherboard's covered by um, warranty because it shouldn't have blown. It should have safeguards built in to just turn off. But it obviously doesn't, and the MOSFET's blue. So that's bad. And I literally did 10,000 Ks, over 10, no, 12,000 and something Ks with this motherboard. Or no, actually, with this motherboard. And it only broke because of the charger port. So these should be good MOSFETs. So I might take these ones, connect it onto this one, and the on button I need to connect as well and fix some of the other parts. And I should be sweet, hopefully. It's the morning that we're going kayaking. Are you excited then? I'm a bit nervous. Excited but nervous, it's a good sign. These are all the bags we got. We got food, we got, what's another one? Food. Yeah. More food? Mm -hmm. Two things of food, really? Dry food, cold food. All oh, right, yeah. And um, wet bags got like the battery and that sort of stuff. And bedding. bedding. Oh, it's also got the drone. Day wet bag. Yeah, speaker and such. Yeah, should be good. Excited. Bags are packed and ready to go. This is Lake Argyle, there's only 5% of the lake that you can see. The rest of it is apparently on the other side of that. It's massive. That's the start of the river. Looks very mountainous, should be good. The river is roaring, should be pretty good. You ready now? Ready to rock and roll down that river? Alright, we just set off. We got fairly good pace. It's pretty slow actually. Whee! Random branch. Yeah! This is super like, super capsized either way this boat is. Especially because you're like sitting above. How are they going to go? So we're with three others. Two other canoes. A single and a double. Yeah, we'll see how we go. It looks pretty beautiful, this trail. Pretty keen. Still yet to see a crocodilly. It is picking up, and they is pulling us along. How good is that? Look at the speed. Give us a boost! Give us a boost! Free boost! I was about to it's say, totally right huh? It's totally the right way. I thought that was the one that was going to capsize us. Someone's got stuck in the uh, in between, hey? In hey, there. Get out there. Maybe? Is it bushes? I don't know. It sends you straight into the bushes that way. Check out all the bats. Holy shit. Trees are full of them. Fun fact about bats, they are the um, fastest flying animal and they're also the most agile, but they are not the most efficient. Probably us. There's loads. 
I was just taking a bit of a break, you know, chilling under the br umbrella. Nay was captain for, I don't know, two minutes? Just, just to go around that corner. And look, we end up bogged. Totally bogged. You were captain for two minutes, Nay. Oh, that feels nice as. No, you're still captain. It hasn't been the two minutes. <laughs> you got this, Nay. Well, look how dirty these things are. It's not a race. It's the journey, not the destination. Look at you getting your captain on. Captain in the ship. Destination, that way. So we saw a croc. Crocodile. However, they weren't very big. I'm guessing the freshwater ones look a lot bigger on pictures. Yeah, we've all lazed out. This is where everyone else is. We'll see around. We've been using the wind a lot lately, actually. It's uh, it's really helped. And that whole straight really gave us a massive boost. Slow down a lot now, though. And like I've been sort of chilling. But yeah, I can't imagine those crocodiles being very intimidating. Little little wingy bops. That's what they are. You go, boop, and it goes weenie 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 weenie. Look at a fork in the river. Oh no, Nay's captaining us into the reeds again. Not again, Nay. Please. Yeah. One-handed paddle. Oh god, does she? Oh, she totally do. I'd say that's a make it. Oh, made it. So, uh, this is an island apparently. I'm gonna go around it. Oh, look how majestic though it looks. So yeah, apparently this is all drinking water and you can drink it without filtering it. Apparently this whole town does. But I don't know, like, you know, it's been a while since I've just drank from a river. It is really clean looking though. So, yeah, all right, whoa. <laughs> all right, now you're gonna take us through this one? She got this. I said never go backwards, duck. Don't go backwards. Maybe we'll have to go under that tree. We're going, we're going, we're going. Oh, God. Whee! That was maximum flex there. It knocked my hat. It was like, tuck. <laughs> oh god, lucky we didn't go that way. We probably capsized. So that's the way. That's the way they said not to go. Oh no, I'm glad we didn't. There's a boat coming. Oh, oh, there was a speedboat that went past before, three engines, full blast, and he went past us full speed, and then he stopped, like, past us, and it was like, whoa, it's real. And now there's another one in front. Well, he's pretty chill. He doesn't look like he's playing it out. This is absolute trust. Naomi is cap captaining, and I'm standing. Oh, should I do what before? What? what? Hey, I didn't, didn't do that on purpose, I swear. <laughs> Oh, please don't. You're soaking all my stuff. Just, Some captain tries to splash her passengers. There was another boat, by the way, and he like waited and then he fanged it past us. He's like, oh, it's clear. Yeah, because well, I, like, I wasn't paddling. I was sort of taking my time. I thought they were sightseeing, like they could just pass. But there, yeah, he fanged it immediately when we were gone, like, like just enough to wait us. Yeah. Oh yeah, you won't see any crocodiles. I mean, we've seen one, but that's because we were super stealthy. And as soon as I went near it, it like ran off into the water. I think we saw two, but the other one was like on a log in the distance kind of deal. But it still ran off, so it probably was. Beautiful up here. Whoop, that was close. I'll sit down, I'll be responsible. <laughs> so we came to shore, had a bit of lunch, went for a bit of a walk to see where this goes. Yeah, it looks like this little, uh, little creek over there. It's quite nice. I think I heard a uh, snake in these bushes. They're like the shh, shh, shh. Sounded like it was a Slytherin. Don't know if I'll see it. Oh, this floor sucks. It's quite a quite a nice trail. Very much like it. I've gone from a super nicely packed to some kind of seat and I'm just really hoping with all the weight something just <laughs> capsizes me over that. 
sounds pretty good. We're gonna have to swap over down then because this is. This, this is hopefully won't capsize us. This is feeling more right. This is the way we're used to kayaking. I mean, Nay's just picking out of my twisties. What? Oh, yeah, huge. Well, I don't know. It might not have been huge. It might have just like body slammed the water. It was like, pfft, like, what the hell was that? But we didn't actually see it. It was like in the bushes, in those bushes over there. But yeah, we we're uh, first to set off. Because, um, yeah, we just like wanted to reconfigure. Because it's nice being able to face each other, have a conversation, have some space in the middle. You know, she can grab food and drinks and all that sort of stuff. It's nice. This is how we always have it in the in our kayak. And I feel like this is the way we like it. And this is the way it's going to be. What do you mean? Sideways? Yeah. Maybe that's why I always go sideways. Just the way, because this is how we usually sit. At least I'm going backwards. Yes. It's kind of nice going sideways. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, I'll grab mine too. Yes. Let's do this. If you can get it. I still can't believe that this came with the caravan. Yeah, I know. This is the one that came with the caravan. We kept it forever. Well, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's nice. I'll pop mine up too. Uh, paddling is for chumps. Look how cool this one is. Pop. <laughs> how good is that? Whoa, actually, you can feel it. That's that's pretty good. Maybe straighten this up. Well, it'll work well like this enough, well enough, right? Oh, yeah, true, though. If we straighten, we'll probably be more aerodynamic. And All right, let's, let's straighten. <laughs> I got my one. Sun's behind there. Wow, you're gonna love the editing of this. This is pretty nice. Yeah, there's gonna be like a million videos. Because uh, it's so long, we're gonna be recording so much. It's gonna be painful. What an adventure! Yeah, it's nice. I like it. This gorgeous girl. Look at her. Look at her with her umbrella. It's amore. It's amore. It's really nice. Nice, beautiful place. I'm really glad we changed the seating arrangements. It's nice to be able to talk to you. Nice not to have to yeah, well, I mean, you never were, were you? <laughs> oh, oh. So, um, this kayak journey, I think, has officially made Nay commit. She's gonna go halves with me on the motor. So, um, I think we've made kayak motor. Before. Probably, but now you've actually said, okay, we'll, we'll order motor. us. But now she's actually, you know, we're ordering so we're kayaking, it. And we know we're sending it. Yeah, that's true. But now we can commit because there's going to be two days of like, oh, if only we had the motor, we could have done this whole thing, save $600, pays for a quarter of it. So yeah, but I think uh, after this kayak journey, I'm going to hit that order button and then get it keen as. So we've literally saw this pass, this like massive grass heap. It just like floated past like when we were at the beach thing swimming. And we caught up to it. How good is that? Look at it. It's just a huge like, imagine if there's a snake living on that being like, save me. Crocodiles. Yeah, save me from the crocodiles. But um, yeah, so if you've never tried them, they're pretty weird. I don't know if I could recommend them. What do you think? They they them. taste like twisted rope though, so like I'll give them that, but they're weird. Well, I think we're gonna just good old mix them in. Lucky dip. <laughs> yum yum. Look at this mountain, by the way. Now he's chilling ax, chillaxing, looking at the uh, the book to see where we are. It's very mountainous, and every time I stop paddling, we start going sideways. Looks like we're catching up to a good old grass mound again. Or maybe it's a different grass mound. It's kind of hard to tell. They all look the same. Look at Lucky Naomi with her hat, with her umbrella while I'm paddling my ass off. But you know what? It's all worth it because she's agreed to go half price on the motor. So uh, that's practically 50% off people. Like I would have bought it myself, but now, <laughs> shit yeah. I'm gonna be cruising up this thing at like, I don't know, 25 k's an hour. Maybe less if we want, cause it's gonna be on a kayak and nice and silent. <sighs> Looking forward to it. It is a really beautiful trail though. Uh -oh. Yeah, we're screwed. Here you go, Nate, emergency work. <laughs> Full time manager. Oh yes, I'll be the umbrella person. Oh yes, look at that switch over. That's how you do it guys. That's how you do it. And she's paddling towards the... Is that a crocodile? Where? <laughs> Naomi <laughs> croc hunting. Where? In the middle of the water. Ah, bushes. I swear, you... 
you capped him for like literally a second and we're immediately in the bushes. What is with that? It's like you see it and you, oh God, what would I do with that umbrella? Thanks buddy, you really saved my ass. Hang on, we're trying to go. Don't forget to see going to keep following the current. <laughs> What? You are going to capsize the bite. Oh, you are going to capsize the crap out of us. Jesus Christ, woman. I'm sorry, but I'd rather get bitten by a spider than capsize. Like, the speaker's just floating. But the speaker now, it's not in a... Should we tie it to something? Maybe. I'll put it in a bag or something. I don't know. Oh, no. The bird's coming for us, guys. I actually think you can see it. Pull myself down, getting ready for the big oil. Alright. Uh, oh no. Wow, he's a lot close enough. Ah, <laughs> oh, spurs the bay boat. <laughs> we should be like, can we have a tow? Oh, you reckon? Do you reckon we would? We'd have to be able to let go. Do you reckon he would? If we go sideways, we're fine. Yeah, that's true. Look at the dogs. Mm. <gasps> Can you get that animal? Sorry? <laughs> I look comfy. She is. Umbrella and everything. Oh, yeah. They're not back. They definitely slowed down a little bit. Can you face it? Huh? Can you face the wave? Yeah, I'll face it. Oh, we gotta feel that. Yeah, full block. It's amazing, the pool is so much faster than this. I'm getting so much. Now he's on a goddamn mission. Yeah, we swapped by the way. And oh man, this place is comfy as. Got the back support, the ass support. Yeah, it's a really beautiful view, and you can you can literally even like just dangle your leg, and Nate doesn't even mind. She's like, what drag? I'm in front of me. Yeah, I'm in gold class. Mm, it's good stuff. Hand me another twisty. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, I do too. I've got my snack cupboard. Some more of Nate's quality camping. It's been like pretty much smooth sailing. Let's ride it out. Yeah, as soon as you had a sip of booze. Straight in the bushes. <laughs> mm-hmm. Water. Look at the colour of that. I can actually I can hear him in my ears a little bit. There's like a single mosquito there. But yeah, look at it, it's pretty nice. It was like real like tropically just there. Is it here? Oh yeah, it's pretty pretty tropically here too. Yeah, we lost the other people. Just give it up. Give, give it up on that one. <laughs> We're probably gonna have two people roaring at the same time. This is good. This is good. We'll make it camp eventually. The river flows that way, so if we fall asleep here, we'll wake up down there. Unless we hit the bank, we'll see. Close. Yeah, I mean, we'll know. somewhere. Bring out the map. Oh yeah, where did we come from? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, we'll get there eventually. The river will take us. We just gotta have a, have a quick nap, and wake up at daytime, further down the river, and they'll, they'll have to catch up to us. We'll be like miles down there. Not too far off now. I think we're just gonna get around this corner over here somewhere. Good captain, captaining Naomi. It's a long 
Atlanta Row on your first day. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty far. <laughs> Definitely feeling my arms. It's pretty good though. And tomorrow's like, what, less than half? 9k. Yeah, 9k, it's less than half. So it'd be super easy. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna do three days tonight. It's hard to say because the river apparently gets super wide and like flat ground, so not like all mountainous and beautiful. Yeah, if it's beautiful like this, probably keep doing it. But if it just goes to flat ground, eh, yeah, I'm not sure. We'll figure it out. Let's we'll see what we want. A lot to see tomorrow as well. Hey, so there's the. Uh, that's where we're going. Just over there. We're not too far now. Yeah, I think there's like a barbecue and stuff. We'll find out. Yeah, it's been really nice. Very taxing though. Five and a half hours. Five and a half hours, yeah, that's how long we've been paddling for. <laughs> so, uh, filling the arms. Good old, uh, good old arms. So this is us for the night. A little just mosquito net so you can see the stars when they're out. Should be nice, it's very warm. We've got a little uh, overcover, undercover. Keep it warm with body heat. And, uh, yeah, it's just the canoes down there. And yeah, I think I'll do a little bit of a fly around so you can check that out now. Welcome to Australia. Cane toads killing snakes. <laughs>